So every time I went to a bank, they would basically just look at me and say, you don't know what you're doing. You own a business, but you don't know what or how to run a business. So instead of them saying, hey, let's set up a consultation and let's get you the help that you need, everyone basically just kept saying no. This is not a new roadblock for Sean Raymond, an owner of a fitness and wellness company. It's far too familiar for small business owners, especially ones that are BIPOC. That is why organizations like Futurepreneur have been helping entrepreneurs for the past two decades get their businesses off the ground. So Futurepreneur was something I found. Um, it literally just came across my screen one day and I was like, hmm, this sounds a little bit too good to be true. 18 to 39, looking for capital injection. I should probably send them an email. I did the Rock My Business startup program. I built my cash flows. I built my profit and loss. I built my expenses. I did everything exactly as I said, which they educated me through. And then at that point, they basically said, hey, you meet criteria for the BES program. The Black Entrepreneur Startup Program has enrolled 100 plus Black entrepreneurs with the hopes of removing barriers as they try to start a business. They also offer up to $60,000 in funding and mentorship. The mentorship has been my my rock my foundation they basically tell me that i can and i will and that's something that i tell my clients every single day you can and you will just two more seconds one more rep you can and you will and to have other people in the same entrepreneurial mindset behind me cheering me on sending me messages reaching out to me making sure that i'm doing the things that i said i would that's a different level of accountability that i never thought i would get from a program like this and to have that gifted to me and in such an open natural format has honestly been such a blessing. Raymond is hoping this story will inspire other black entrepreneurs to seek out this program and make their dreams come true like he did. For more information about Raymond and the program head to our website citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.